<laughs> okay, so I know this is the biggest part. You're wondering how does the Don keep his chest the way it is? The best part! These babies. So, uh... Dude, I would have knocked her f***ing teeth into the back of her throat. I would have f***ed her up in front of everybody. Give me a 10-year... Dude, give me a 10-year f***ing prison sentence, man. Give me a 10-year... Dude, give me a 10-year f***ing prison sentence. So all you have to do is, is turn on YouTube, and there's people talking shit to people. Dude, girls talking shit to dudes, and dudes fucking cold cocking them. Like, what are you gonna... Uh? And she I can't get so much satisfaction out of those videos. Oh my god, dude! I live vicariously through those videos. It's like, dude, on, listen. I stopped jerking off to porn when I was thirty-seven years old, dude. Sometimes I'll fucking whip out my dick and some fucking cocoa butter and fucking beat off to that stuff. Cause that <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Ground the motorway back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today, I'm taking a look at a YouTuber by the name of Ja Rules. And right now, on this video, he's going in on the likes of. Donovan Sharp, Myron Gaines, Saint in the Center, and Rolo Tomasi. I might not get through the whole video. I might make it a two-part series. Who knows, man? I might have and have that thing. But uh, if you don't know who Donovan Sharp is, he is essentially one of the guys who have made Fresh and Fit. He is one of the guys where they get most of their talking points from, where the way they act, he gets they get that from there. And Rolo Tomasi as well. Rolo Tomasi is whack as a bitch. I'm sorry, man. But uh, if you think otherwise, oh well, man. Sorry about it. And so I'm going to give y'all a little bit of backstory on why I don't really care for Donovan Sharp, man. So uh, I used to watch Donovan Sharp a little bit back in the day. Every now and again, it, he wasn't that entertaining to me. He would just say crazy stuff. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go see what he got to say. And then, uh, you know, he'd be on his live stream saying stuff like, yeah, if, you, if, you're, if you're a music producer or you've got some music or anything like that, uh, just send it in and I'll shout you out right now. So, you know, I'm thinking, man, as a guy who was a content creator, this is when I first started my channel. Like, yeah, bro, you're all about, you know, helping people out and stuff. Because he was also saying, yeah, I'm, I'm here to help men. I just want to help men get be successful and be the best versions of themselves. So I'm thinking like, all right, man, you you would help a, a young content creator get his, his game up and just give him a little simple shout out. So, you know, I sent him in something. Said, hey, man, uh, it was just $5. I said, <laughs> I was like, hey, man, uh, I like your channel. Keep it up. I'll start my own channel and everything like that. And he, what he said to me was, "Ha, huh, Ryan Rovey, don't you, don't you ever do that again? I will block the fuck out of you." And all this kind of stuff. Like, bro, like, are you serious, dog? Like, like, really, bro? After you just said you would shout people out and you was on this kumbaya shit, you just came back and did some bullshit like that. And, and it wasn't like I hadn't done it to other people before. Like, uh, like I sent something in to NJ Get Right, man, and he shouted me out, man, and, and I'll never forget that. Like, it was cool. Like he said, hey man, go check him out. Hope you got your videos up, bro. And MJ Get Right is much bigger than Donovan Sharp. He's cooler, he's younger. And I feel like this shows a layer of Donovan Sharp being a small, egoed individual, man. He feels like, oh yeah, you're trying to come up on, on me. I, 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 can't let, I can't let anybody come get me. You got to stay where you're at. Like, you know, he's not really about trying to get nobody up there and trying to help nobody to improve themselves. He wants folks to stay under him. And that's how I think most of these dating coaches are. So that's just my backstory on it. Let me know what you think. But uh, let's see what he's got to say, man. Let me know what you think about these guys down in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, man. Because a lot of people just watch the video, man, and they don't do anything. So, man, go on. Do right, man. Do right by the kid, man. Just it, That's the least you could do, man. You ain't paying for nothing. But let's see what he's got to say, man. Ja Rules is the name. Go check him out if you want to. Let's go. One thing you can do on this internet is you can pretend to be somebody that you're not. Just what this dude has been doing, getting a lot of money from from dudes. I don't want to call them suckers, but I'll, I'll just call them dudes who's like gullible because they're trying to score with these women, and they turn to these dudes who swear that they got some magic pill to help them get what they think they need from these women, which is right. validation. I mean, taking advantage of dudes. Not only is that wrong, but they're not even living the lifestyle that they say that they're living. Man, this dude here claims that he's got a young chick younger than him young and attractive that submits to him and this is who he's committed to right so and you know what's funny man you see if you have ever looked at diamond sharp's instagram like my homeboy sends me stuff off his instagram all the time like the way he shows this lady it looks like he's dealing with a porn star who is slick almost at their prime like he's he's taking booty pictures and at the right angle and showing off the heels and all this kind of stuff and it's like 
Now you see this and it's like, come on, Donovan. Oh, Donovan, boy, you out here trying to play us like that? I never thought you was nothing anyway, because I don't like you. But you out here trying to play us like that, man, with this kind of bullshit? And you run around here acting like, well, huh, well, I had I had girls in Vegas and I was black pill. You didn't even know what the pills was and you out here supposed to be preaching it. I was black pill and I had girls in Vegas and I was having a lot of cocaine and money. Shut the hell up, fatty. Shut up. Let's go. Uh, he don't got none of that that he says he got. And she got a kid, like, from some child protective services type thing where oh, damn. the child was a uh, relative a relative's child and CPS come and took it and he adopted it. So he ain't living that bachelor free agent lifestyle, even though that's not his his, his card. But yeah. he's not living like like I would want to be like I'm living, like I would want to be living. Married to some chick that's subpar, raising <laughs> somebody else's kid, grifting, taking advantage of people on the internet. No, I wouldn't want to be doing that. No, not at all. Not at all. This dude, he's not self-aware at all because he's been He's been trolled by a lot of black women. And, you know, he was saying, ah, yeah, they, 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 they go into my Instagram and they see my girl there with that long blonde hair and they just, I'm like, yo, this nigga's a fool. If he thinks that, uh, I, I can't even put it into words how stupid he must be to think that that doesn't give them fuel for his trolling. I don't understand why he don't think that. And when you, you know, I'll never be ingratiated or, or have more to relate to white red pill content creators. I just won't. I was supposed to be on somebody's live stream a long time ago talking about reparations. The dude just never got back to me. So, yeah, so when you, when you, when you, I, I got. And I feel that. That's the problem I got with guys like Diamond Sharp and Myra Gaines and stuff like that. It's like, uh, yeah, you're against your people, and that's already an issue. But at the same time, you're running around here bootlicking and chasing behind these white content creators. Like, you're chasing behind the likes of Rolo Tomasi and uh, all these random weird white guys who I've never watched their content or ever heard of anything that they've ever done ever in my YouTube street life. And they're out here, and even with, uh, he's out, he's on, on panels with uh, known white supremacists like Steve Molinoz or whatever the hell you say his name. Like, and whoever, whatever idiot down there is like, oh, what, what are you, why are you talking about Steve? You shut the hell up, man. Look up Steve on Google, man, before you just sit up and take advice from him. Talking about, yeah, Steve tells the truth. He ain't telling the truth, man. Steve, Steve running around here with half his hair missing, sitting up trying to tell you about dating and all this kind of stuff. You're an idiot taking advice from him, just like you're an idiot taking advice from somebody like Donovan Sharp, who sat there and told you a bold-faced lie that he wasn't married and that he had a... a Nine out of ten, eight out of ten girlfriend, and you see what we what we uh what we got on the on the internet with everybody to uncover because he still like he still like put out a full regular picture of her yet on his Instagram or of them too. He hasn't done it yet. Let's keep going. Stay on the side. I'm really like I'm not really like I'm alienated by ostracized. I would say by most blacks, and I'm not stupid enough to think that. Because, see, I'm an Israelite before I'm anything else. So if I don't get accepted or if I'm not truly engraced by my own tribe, I'm not dumb enough to think I can go jump tribes and just think things are going to be the same or better for me over there. No, I'll just be a nomad, be a lone wolf, and wait for the one-thirds of, of us to emerge and then deal from that. But I won't be going over to the and dealing with other tribes talking about, yeah, I'm over here because my side ostracized me because Sharp's side ostracized him. It's funny how, like, he says he's from Philly, but he's probably from Mount Airy, man. Because when he cusses, it sounds so disingenuous. And when he has other, like, people like Jap over there on his panel, he cusses and try to sound black and shit. It just sounds so phony, man. He needs <laughs> to get that shit up. He needs to give all this shit up because he's already been, he's not who he says he is. He, he's so right about that, man. Whenever Donovan Sharp cusses, whenever Donovan Sharp just talks in general, he just, it sounds so forced. And when he cusses or when he says the N-word, he sounds like he just ran a marathon every time before he's like, <laughs> like, bro, like, you don't even sound right when you say it, man. And and I'd hate to say this, but Donovan Sharp talks white. And and I don't mean by him talking proper. You're out here, yeah, just because Donovan Sharp talks with proper wording. Yeah, it, it doesn't mean he's white. Shut the hell up, man. 
you can shut the hell up. Donovan Sharp's voice inflection is that of a white guy. Oh, well, you know, me I mean, Devin, we, and yeah, I used to date black girls. I never started, stopped dating them, and those white girls that like black dudes are mud sharks. The way Donovan Sharp talks is, he talks like a white guy, because he has the voice inflection of a white guy. And that's what I mean when I say he talks white. And another example of that would be Kanye West, when he first started getting that Kim Kardashian pause. I survived my accident. We'll come uh, back to that reason. in a moment, yeah. I think... I think he just has me here for a reason, that I have something to say and that my ultimate goal is to help people. Her being in the studio when she was uh, Brandy's assistant, and I think she wow. brought us... Uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, she brought us in some, like, uh, something to drink, you know, that you can't drink on daytime TV. But. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with talking a certain way or anything like that. I don't have a problem with any race or any white guys or anything like that, but I do think it's kind of lame and, and when you got guys like Kanye West or Donovan Sharp even when I feel like they're they're already talk proper like Kanye West the example is there he already talks proper but then you see him talking with an extra little twang to it and it's like do you think that makes you more sophisticated or do, do you think that it puts you into a different tier just because you add an extra like or something like, you know you just you switch up your voice inflection do you think that it makes you better or something like that. You think it makes it better than your own race? I don't know. That's basically what I'm trying to say. She had him. She had him whitewash. She was at the goddamn talk show talking about some. Well, like you know, I've got those new clothes coming out, and like, like you know, like that's how he was talking. That's that's all it is, man. And then, uh, and, and another thing that that I will say about Sharp and the reason that his side probably ostracized him. If you saw his earlier pictures where. He was his real name, Edwin Hopkins. It, it, he looks like uh, he looks like the fat guy who's kind of he's slick, unbearable to be around, man. You got this fat guy running around here. Like, uh, have you ever? Have, if y'all watched that dude, Drewski Funny. Say, bro, let me get the answer number twenty-seven. No, leave me alone. You can't cheat off of me. Oh, this nigga lame in hell. He trying to get everybody caught. You feel Come me, on, bro? Leave me alone. Get away from me. Oh, what the shit. fuck? That nigga turned into a demon. Uh, hey, y'all keep playing man. with I, that I, boy I, if y'all want. Bro, gonna shoot up to school. Man, fuck Brian. That nigga man, a hoe. come out to school with a gun if he wants. Man, want. bro, gay. <laughs> yeah. You'll never understand me. Whoa. You'll never get me. You'll never understand yeah, me. Yeah, you gonna understand these hands in a second. Get in my face like that again. Say I won't beat the fuck out you, nigga. <laughs> boy, what the fuck? I'm telling y'all, stop messing with that boy. Watch when I see his puss ass outside. See you in fucking hell, bitch. That's what Donald Sharp gives off to me. He gives me that kind of guy that the reason that he was ostracized by his community was because he was a shit person. You were annoying, you were lame as hell, and you were constantly probably, like, you know, like, you know how you got those kind of GameStop nerds that, like, they'll try to fit in a roast and you gotta put them back in their place because it's like, you don't know where the power levels are because, bro, you're lame as hell. Shut the hell up talking to me. Like, he's one of them kind of guys. That's what he gives me, like, the the angry, nerdy, lame guy who got ostracized by his community because he's annoying and lame. That's what I got, man. Let me know what you think. I never gave him money, but, you know, I mean, if, he, if, if they get money from me watching their content, which I do find educational and entertaining, that's fine, but I'm not going into my... Uh, a pocket for no cash or no cash app or no, nothing like that, man. I'm gonna do nothing like that. And uh, paying money to join this Patreon just to, to be on the chat? No, I'm not doing no stupid stuff like that. But that's the thing. He thinks that he's ingratiated with them, with them white dudes like that. And they said something about George Floyd, and he didn't like it. And instead of going to the dude that said something offensive to him, which is what I would have done. He gonna cry to one of the other dudes putting that shit together. That's the one thing I would never do. I would never go to no jamboree with a whole bunch of grown men. No Boy Scout jamboree or no MGTOW, nothing. No SBI, none of that. SBI, SB, none of that. Whatever it is, huh. where's a whole bunch of men, I will not be there. No. Oh, no. No. It's just, no. Why would I want to be there, man? No. But, yeah, this dude, he just needs to go away, man, for real. <laughs> Y'all need to watch this body language video. Y'all need to watch this. You got special guests as well. Donovan Sharp I'm in Donovan the building. Sharp. Yeah, I'm Donovan so, Sharp. That's all you guys don't know. Welcome back to Miami. Yeah, hey, listen. I'm actually, um, I recently found out I was married. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Dev and I, we get up and um, 
we're, you know, uh, watching this dude on YouTube, and I'm like, Dad, you gotta come in here and see this, and we're watching this, and it was almost three hours long, and I was like, it, I was like, wait a minute, like, at the end of it, I was like, holy shit, I think, are we, we're married, so we decided to jump on a plane, come down here to Miami, and uh, we're on our honeymoon, so uh, I guess, wait, did you guys eat little? We, I, listen, I, we were married before I even realized it, but there, I mean, it was, it, it was such, it was such compelling evidence, I mean, all sorts of Photoshop, and all, I mean, I was like, hey, you know what? It convinced me, so uh, that's why I'm here, man. Are you happy? Say again? Are you happy? Should I stay happy? <laughs> <laughs> now, did y'all notice how their body language inside that, the way it was, the way they was, like, off-putted by what he said? We're going to watch it again. And this time, look at the body language. They didn't want nothing to do with that cat. But he needs to go away, man. He needs to go away. He's a fucking weirdo. Because his game, his gig is up. And he's full of S H I T. He needs to go away, man. But for whatever reason, y'all don't need to be giving him no money if you were. Period. Because he's not here to help you if he's trying to charge you. He said you walked right past me in the aisle and didn't say excuse me. He said you might want to look ahead instead of walking around acting like you're king shit. This guy told this to me. He said this, he said this to my face. Would you like to know what I did? I caved in his face. I hit him with one left hand. I broke his, I either broke or his nose, his nose and or orbital bone was either broken or cracked, but I cracked his, I think I cracked, I broke his, I broke his nose, cracked his orbital bone, gave him a concussion. One hit, dropped him. I was. So right there, he was basically taking accountability for some guy told him he needs to say, excuse me and, and all this kind of stuff. And he hauled off and punched him in the face and he's like, bro. You really only took accountability because you got arrested. Had you not gotten arrested, you probably wouldn't be saying anything about it now. And then the fact that you had to come back and talk about the details of how, yeah, he was his nose was broken and all this, like, bro, like, you want some, you want a cookie for that? And then also on top of that, bro, you're over 30 when you're committing all these crimes. And then look at the other crimes he's committing. Like, he's committing stuff that's, yeah, they're, they're nonviolent, but it's like stuff like fraud, identity theft. These are actually serious crimes. And this is like shows a pattern in his type of behavior like like you think he's not gonna scam a, a guy who wants to to get girls think about all that kind of stuff when you're deciding oh yeah i'm gonna go goddamn get, learn from donnie i want to learn from donnie impress these women or not impress these women man but that that's the main thing is that is not even at all what's important to y'all's lives mate and and that was a great point man that's a, another point that i've made when it comes to talking about dating coaches and uh and dating courses is you don't know what kind of guy you're selling this course to, like what he is, how he is, just like he said, man, and, and dating his relative. A, a whole, there's a whole bunch of different little subtle nuances and different compartments that go here, and that's what makes this guy be able to get this girl and be able to make this guy be able to get that girl and make this girl for some reason like this ugly ass guy. And it just, it just, it just doesn't, it, it's not a one size fits all kind of thing. And then on top of that, you're charging guys that you're supposed to be helping $800 when you could just be talking about the same shit on your little uh, your little YouTube channel. You talk about the same shit and then you put it in a course and charge a man $800 that she's supposed to be helping. Especially if you, plan, if you claim to be helping younger guys. I guess you're helping guys that are uh, older or married or something. I don't really know why that's the point, man. You'd be helping younger guys because those are guys that are, that are uh, supposed to be coming up and making the future out here in these streets. Those guys aren't gonna have $800 to just throw away, man. You've been a young guy before, you know what it's like, man. You run around here 18, 19, 20, 21, man. You don't have the money just yet. You're still developing yourself. Sometimes, some, some people didn't even go to school yet until they start, till they turn 21, probably. You never know. But uh, that, that's just one of my thoughts on that right there as far as the dating courses go. What do you guys think? Let me know. Be out here building yourselves up and be physically fit and financially fit. Man, right. women will just come, and if they don't, so what? So what? Right. It's no, and I think mentally fit is uh, something that he also forgot, man. He said physically fit, he said financially fit, and then he said something about if women don't come, so what? And I think that has that's another layer that he should add into there, which is mentally fit, man. And a lot of these guys aren't mentally fit, man. One girl leaves them alone, and they're ready to cry and end it. You've seen over this past year, man, we had situations where guys have ended it. They had a whole rap career. They was on the way to start them. Ended it because a girl cheated on them. 
there's there's always somebody out there that's gonna care about you. This one person right here is not the set in stone person. Yeah, they probably fit the mold. That's how I feel about it, man. I think I think that uh, that you know there's a person that fits most of your mold, and that's who you get with, and that's who you decide on. But nothing is uh is the end of the world, man. When it comes to dating, that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. End of the day, the Jews ain't worth the squeeze, but really, if they don't call and you got yourself in order, you really need to check yourself. But this dude's a clown, man. You don't need to be fooling with him. Right. Edwin Hopkins. I forgot his name. His real name is Edwin Hopkins. He's a fat dude, too. <laughs> if shit gets real, I know I can fuck somebody up. Why? Because I'm in good shape. Yeah, there are a lot of fat guys who can fight. Right? We know that. But again, who wants to be a fat guy who can fight? If shit gets real, I know I can f somebody up. Why? Because I'm in good shape. Because I'm in good shape. Because I'm in good shape. Donovan Sharp, Donovan Sharp. Yeah. The funny thing about this guy is, man, he's saying funny stuff, but it's like his voice doesn't change at all. So he's just deadly serious over here talking about some, yeah, man, he a fat dude, too. And he ain't even laugh or nothing. No snicker, no nothing. And that's actually funny. Like, he's a fat dude, too. Talking about you need to get in shape, but you run around here with breasts. You a man running around here with breasts. Talk about some AGH and TRT and all this kind of stuff. Hi, Donna Sharp, and I'm here to show you first one of the five pillars of getting women is having a great body, just like this. If you want a body just like this, then I'm going to show you how to do it with these three easy steps. Okay, so the first, one of the, one of the biggest things I notice ladies like, they like legs. So it's contrary to popular belief, ladies actually like glutes. He's right! So here I'm going to show you the best exercises for glutes. Right here we've got the stair climber. I'm going to show you that right now. Just watch and learn. Careful up there, Donnie! You got it? All right, so you see I'm going up the steps. Oh, oh kick back. Oh, oh, kick back again. Oh, oh, kick back. Oh, oh, you see that? The ladies and Donnie, look at those glutes. Devin, are you getting this? I want some glutes like that, Donnie. Make sure you film me. But, but Donnie, why, why, I want to work out, Donnie. Well, there, there's no need for you to do it. It's, it's not in your genetics to have that ass. So, uh, what do you mean, Donnie? There's no need. I'm, I'm right now I'm doing a video. Oh. You're messing me up. But, but, but Donnie, I, I, I'm, I'm lacking, right, Donnie. Shit. I'm tired. Donnie, are you okay? You, you, now you're working hard. Okay, so when it comes to the gym, having a ripped, chiseled physique is great. And what other way could you do that besides cardio? You want a body like this? This is 12% body fat. Zoom down, Devin. Go down. This is now. This is twelve percent body fat. I love it, Donnie. You look so great. Now, uh, well, your, well, your twelve percent is amazing. But okay, so basically, they say that if you're at least twelve percent body fat with a flat stomach like this, you can get any girl you want. Go ahead, go ahead and spin me around. Oh, okay, Donnie. I, I, yeah, look at that, Donnie. Look at that. You guys better learn. All right, that's it, Nala. Now, now let me show you guys how to set the treadmill just right. So uh, we're gonna get on the treadmill. All right, so we're pressing on. If, if you're on the treadmill, you wanna do your best speed about four. If you're at four, you're at top speed. Anything above that, you're overdoing it. All these other guys, these guys say running five minute miles and stuff like that. No, you wanna keep your size, and then at the same time, you wanna be lean. So we're gonna go for a four right here. Watch me. This is gonna be easy. Okay, so uh, Donnie, are you okay? Okay, so uh, Donnie, no, no, make sure you hold, hold on to the. Just, hold on. Oh, 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 you gotta be careful, Donnie. Oh, thanks, thanks, Devin. Oh, oh, yeah, be oh, careful. Oh, 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 oh. Donnie, you don't, you never do cardio. Donnie, your breast, Donnie. Uh, get your breast. Oh, thanks. 
Thanks. No, you never do cardio. Why are you acting? Don't ever do that again. Don't ever, ever overstep on uh, alpha male's boundaries again. But daddy, I hate that shit. Don't you ever overstep that shit. I just again. want to help. Okay. Don't don't do it again. Nod your head. <laughs> Not, yeah. Okay. Okay. Dude, stay in an alpha. Stay in a woman's place. Okay. I'm an alpha male. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're just right. A, a pet. You're right, daddy. Yeah. On to the next thing. <laughs> okay. So I know this is the biggest part. You're wondering how does the Don keep it just the way it is? The best part! Look at these babies. So, uh... Looking yeah, good, Don. I'm gonna show you one of the greatest staples in the gym there ever was. Ah. By one of the greatest bodybuilders there ever was. Ooh! Arnold Schwarzenegger. This exercise right here is gonna be the Arnold Press Bench. With a little bit of Donnie sauce. I love that part. Okay. So uh, let me let me go ahead and show you the weight that I'm gonna pick right here. Right we'll down here to the big right weight. Here. We don't play out here. No, Devin, what are you doing down there? Come on, Devin. But, no. But Donnie, Nick, no. Okay. What well, we right here? No. 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 That's not the weight I'm using. No. No. Let, let me show you the weight. I'm come right here. Right here. You see? You see okay. this? No. Now, if you're using anything more than a TKO ten, get that shit out of here. All right, that's that's what you need for premium chest building and muscle building. Okay, you wonder how I've got this physique? It's amazing. You see this twelve percent body fat? You do what I say. Okay, right here. <coughs> Daddy, did, did, did you did you take your TRT dose? <sighs> yeah, I forgot to take a dose. Uh, I'll lift it for uh, you, Donnie. Here you go. Uh, 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 okay, you put that. Uh, okay. Yeah, put that down there. Yeah, grab the other one. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, yeah. All right, man. So, uh, yeah, you know that uh, you need to have a great body, you need to have great money, and you need to stay in frame. Okay? These are some of the alpha male statistics. The money thing, you cannot rule the house without money. No girl will ever love you if you have. Huh? If you don't have the money, no girl's ever gonna love you, okay? All right, just wanna let you know that right now. But Donnie, I, I, I loved you and you didn't have anything. You were starting your YouTube, Donnie. What do you mean? I, yeah, Donnie, what do you, what do you I, mean? I, what do you mean I, I you, you still loved me with money? No. no, no, no. Would you be with me if I had $10 an hour at McDonald's? Well, Donnie, you were a construction worker for this gym, Donnie. You were only making $10 an hour. What? The, Donnie, I, I care about you, Donnie. What do you mean? What do you... Why are you telling my business? Like, I've been a high-value man all this time. Don't, don't, no, no, you haven't. Don't tell him. I'll punch you in your teeth. No, not again, Donnie, no. Help me put these weights on so I can show them how to bench. Okay. Oh, huh. I have to hang out when this is heavy. Here, Papa oh. Baby. There you go, Papa Baby. Oh. Oh. You got it, Donnie. Go. Oh. Lift it, Donnie. Go. Okay. Go. All right, let, let me show you guys how this works and the reason why it works. So, ah, so, uh, 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 so you don't want to worry about the the concentric uh, contraction. You want to worry about the eccentric contraction. Notice how I'm not bringing it up. The uh, uh, the weights are they're they're pressing me down. Oh, uh, uh, that, that's that's why I'm, uh, that's the eccentric contraction right there. Uh, you hold that for. Dad, are you sure this is the exercise? Ten minutes, oh, and you're in the game. Oh, Devin, come get these weights. Y yes, Daddy. Come here. Here we go. Oh, love, oh come on. Oh, okay, come here, on. Go. Okay. Great work, Don. You showed these beta males how to do it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. All right, all right now, um, now, fellas, you want to build a great body, a rock hard rock of Gibraltar body? Do it like this, okay? Now, tune in later for Sharp Stream, all right? I'm going to be on there with Steve Molino. I'm going to be on there with Tim Cast. I'm going to be on there with David Duke. I'm going to be on there with... Who's somebody else? Uh, who was the other guy? Oh, uh, Myron Gaines, of course, man. My protege, Myron Gaines, is going to be on there. I love that guy. He took everything I've said. He's made it into a business. He's better than me now. But that's it right there. Sharp Streams. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Make sure you do it. Let me know how the results went. 
down in the comments below. Devin, oh, oh, I need I need an energy source. Pan handles cookies over. Okay, oh, Devin. Come on. Here, oh, here, oh, here. Oh, 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 these are like sensu beans. Oh, chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, oh, I can't get the bag open. Open the bag. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Hurry up. Oh, oh, thank you. And here you go. Here. Wait, Donnie, well, what about your, your diabetes? And your, that's why you're not getting anywhere with your weight, Donnie. You can't keep lying forever to these guys. If you keep this up, you'll have to get a breast augmentation like me. Don, don't worry about my diet. But, but Donnie, I care. The guys, the guys are eating this shit up. But now, Donnie, these guys are. If I'm not having issues with you. subscribers, they're 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 enjoying the the twelve percent body fat. But but Donnie, I've got guys telling me I. But Donnie, you, what about your breast, Donnie? Look. Your breast can you yeah. hold, you know, wear the bra right. I got you, the sports bra. Yeah, but I've got guys telling me that they're, that they're, I'm saving their life. Okay? So, I don't want to hear that shit. Let's, let's go home. Uh, oh, okay, Donnie, okay. All right. Put the put the place up. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Rack that shit now. Hurry up. Uh, uh, yeah, what? Oh, okay. Faster, faster. Get my keys. Uh, th those two? Oh, oh. Open up the door. Okay. Yes, Donnie. Yes, yes. Okay. I'll hold it, ladies. Hold it. Hold it. Yep. Who do you know on TRT that's running around here that's not in supreme shape? And if you're somebody who who is you know kind of kind of versed into the gym world or into the fitness world of any type, man, uh, you've seen some guys that's on TRT, Vitor Belfort, even Dana White's fat ass, his bitch ass. He run around, he's in pretty good shape right now because he's on TRT. All the guys who are on TRT are in great shape. Donovan Sharp claims to be on TRT, but still looks like shit. All right, man, so I'm gonna end the video right there, man. So that's the Donovan Sharp portion, man. I probably will, uh, will jump into the other guys a little bit later, man, just to drag it along, man. But uh, that was a good video by Ja Rules. You guys should go check him out, man. I think he's a pretty good slept on content creator, man, I think. That more people should be checking out his stuff. He's pretty funny. Some of the stuff I don't agree with, but uh, for the most part, he's, he's pretty entertaining and he's putting out some solid advice. So go check him out, man. And this video is pretty old, man. Like he he's made a video. Like the rest of the video, if you want to watch it, he's uh, got Myron Gaines. He's got uh, Rolo Tomasi. He's got. Uh, who's the other guy? Saint in the center. And he's, you know, he's saying stuff about all of them. I'm going to get into probably, since we've already pretty much covered Myron Gaines and all of them, man, I'm going to, I'm going to check out some other videos I've seen of them and I'm going to take what I can from those and I'm going to let you guys see what you think about it as well. But as far as Saint in the center and, uh, Rollers and Moss, we're going to get into those guys and see what he has to say about them as well. I think that this guy should come out and talk about more people. Like, I think he should go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, and get on fresh talk about some of these other guys that uh i don't know like modern life dating and uh who else there's there's some other guys out here man for sure i think he, i think she get on bro that's my thoughts man but that's it right there man y'all let me know what you guys think about donovan sharp what do you guys think about the video what do you guys think about the points that he made what do you guys think about the points that i made man make sure you're constructive man or else you're gonna get flamed up and flamed out like you're supposed to but uh yeah y'all have a great day Y'all go ahead and get it, and I'll see y'all next time.